Welcome to the first video about creating a 3D fountain. First, we import the human model so the scale of our objects will have proper proportions. I have the model from TurboSquid but I downloaded it many years ago. Currently, the link to the website with this character no longer exists so we will find a download link in the description. Any other model can be used, but human will always help you to keep the real proportions. At the beginning we start with a blockout, which is a simple form of our target object. The scale of a blockout can be easily changed. It is something like preparing a mold for casting. The concept is visible in the lower left corner. The link to the full resolution photo of it is in the description. Now I round the scale values and adjust the height of the base on which the fountain will stand. I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up using simple shapes. At this stage of production we are not interested in the detail of individual elements. What matters is the appropriate selection of scale and keeping in mind the human size. Now I'm trying to adjust the height of the fountain in such a way that I can lean on it when standing on the step. Then I create another cylinder with fewer walls. It will be the base for the upper part of the fountain. As before, we also adjust the scale here. I'm currently splitting each wall in two because I see that the base of the bracket isn't smooth compared to the top. This procedure will make it easier for me to do the detailed modeling at the later stage. Now I adjust the height of the element connecting the fountain, constantly looking at the concept and trying to reproduce it as accurately as possible. The top of the fountain is made of the same shapes as the previous one, so I simply duplicate the existing cylinder and drag it to the top. Further elements of the fountain are also made of cylinders, so this stage largely involves duplicating existing objects and adjusting their scale. It seems to me that the base of the fountain is too thin, so I adjust its scale in specific axes, making sure that the remaining elements of the fountain move along with the base. Using the key combination 5 plus 1 or 5 plus 7 on the numpad will allow you to remove the perspective and check the size of your object by looking at it from the perspective of different axes.
Correct naming will definitely make your work easier, so if possible, do it carefully as it will speed up work in later stages so it is worth spending a minute or two on it. I looked at the fountain from different angles and realized that it's still too high, so I decided to sink it a little bit into the ground. I also prepared a new collection where I will put final objects in the future stages of the project. The missing elements of the fountain are the flower pots placed around, so I start by making one of them and then I'm going to duplicate it around the fountain. Now I'm making some simple operations on two basic shapes, box for the base and cylinder for the pot. Currently, a pot does not have a hole with a room for a plant. For now, all that matters is a shape and size. Similarly, instead of flowers, we will make a normal sphere and for now it will be enough. Now press Ctrl A to apply all transforms, which will move the pivot to the world center. Thanks to the fact that the pot has a pivot in the middle, we are able to duplicate it and rotate it around the entire fountain. I noticed in a concept that the pots always face the observer, so I decided to correct it and turn each of them in the right direction. It's the time for the final checks and adjustments. I decided to sink the fountain to the ground a little bit more. I also merged all the objects of a pot together and then merged all the pots. This allowed me to keep them as a single blockout object. And that's it, our final blockout is ready. In the next episodes I will show you how to prepare a texture on a trim sheet and how to model the detailed object with applying the mentioned texture to it. If you want to be up to date, subscribe to the channel.